Uh, before we get to those reporters, though, I do actually just want to bring in for a little bit of perspective NBC News presidential historian uh, Michael Beschloss. Michael, I wanted to talk to you about this tonight because it is so rare to have a new president grappling with major wars that he didn't start. Right. Um, and I know you've pointed out there's only been a handful. He's the fifth U.S. president, basically, to, to take office in those circumstances. Right. Given how other presidents have handled that challenge, how, how would you place him on that number line tonight? Well, it was a nuanced speech. You know, you didn't hear him blustering about fire and fury as he did, you know, pretty recently about North Korea. I think, you know, you were talking about Nixon a little bit earlier, Rachel. Mm. And I think the best parallel is probably Nixon gave this famous speech November of 1969. He had gone through his first year saying, as you said, I have a secret plan to end the war. Didn't tell anyone what it was. This speech was intended to reveal it. And he said, my plan is Vietnamization. I'm going to shift the burden to the South Vietnamese. And he vowed that he would not be defeated. And in retrospect, we now know that that speech was really heralding sort of a slow American withdrawal. And on the Nixon tapes, we know that Nixon was privately saying, you know, once we get out, I don't expect this government to, this government in Saigon to remain. I think it's going to collapse. So, you know, by that measure, Rachel, take a look at the language we heard tonight. Donald Trump used three words I think he will come to regret. He said, this is my plan for victory. And then he went on to say, you know, essentially suggest that there might be a very modest troop surge and also said, as, as you were referring to, you know, I'm not against withdrawal. Essentially, he said, I'm against, and these are his words, hasty withdrawal and announced withdrawal. Those are two, you know, basically very big signals that suggest that what this speech really is is not, you know, a suggestion that he's turned completely around and now is going to move towards some kind of military victory. What this is, I think, is, you know, essentially a suggestion that this is going to be a withdrawal, you know, date unknown. Can I make one more point? Please. Uh, and that is, you know, he's asking Americans to risk their lives on the battlefield. And I think one of the most important things for a president to do is, you know, if a president does not intend to push for victory, at least be frank about that. That's one thing that Lyndon Johnson did not do. He sent a lot of American soldiers to Vietnam while privately saying, I don't expect to win. I hope against hope that what we're not seeing tonight is Donald Trump see sending Americans into harm's way and privately essentially saying, as he did in, in 2012, the second we get out, I expect this government to collapse. Michael Beschloss, NBC's presidential historian. Michael, thank you for being with us tonight. You were exactly who I wanted to talk to tonight. I appreciate thank that. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.